Hi everybody. Hello, it's Eve here, editor of Professional Beauty. And um, today we are going to do, I believe it's the fifth part of our PB London talks, um, where we've been chatting with some of the speakers that we have at Professional Beauty London, um, coming up in April, and just chatting to them a little bit about what you can expect from their sessions, getting a few insights, and um, talking about, yeah, what's coming up on, on our various live stages. So today I'm gonna to be joined by Dr. Gaby Prinsloo um, from AAA, who is gonna be speaking on our skin and advanced treatment stage. So I think she has requested to join. I'm gonna bring her in now and uh, we'll tell you a little bit about what she's gonna be speaking about. So hopefully she'll be through in a minute. Um, it's on our skin and advanced treatment stage. Hello, Dr. Gaby. Hi. <laughs> How are you? How are you? <laughs> Always happy when this IT bit is settled and we're all connected. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Once we're both here and we know we're good to go. Great to see you. Thanks for joining Thank us. It's a pleasure. Well, I, was, I was just saying, um, obviously you're going to be speaking on our skin and advanced treatment stage again at Professional Beauty London, which is fantastic. Oh, I lost you. Um, so... Oh, I might have cut out. Sorry about that if anyone lost me there. I think uh, I had a little glitch there with my Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, your, your talk at Professional Beauty London is the S word, how stress, yes. um, how to stress proof skin. So <laughs> yes. I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about, um, from your perspective, what are the signs of stress on skin? What should therapists be looking out for in their clients? Pretty much everything. <laughs> but stress has a significant impact on skin. And when we're stressed, we go into the fight flight mode um, and our body releases a whole host of stress hormones. And the purpose of these hormones to, is to gear us for action. And when we're geared for action, our body is not healing, we're not digesting, our microbiome is affected, our body is inflamed. And then this has an impact on skin. And so there's sort of four key areas that we see. Most significant is accelerated process of aging. So stress and the stress hormones affects all of the cells in the skin. So if we look at the fibroblasts, we have decreased collagen and elastin. So we get skin sagging, skin wrinkles, there's decreased hyaluronic acid, so we get dry skin. Keratinocytes are affected, so we get thinning of the skin, rough skin. Melanocytes are affected, so we get increased pigmentation. All of the things that we'd see in response to UV or, or other pollution, we see when we are stressed. Mm -hmm. The blood vessels are affected, so we're more likely to get damaged vessels with spider veins, decreased blood vessels with sallow skin. And then, of course, stress can accelerate um, gray hair and hair loss. Wow. So we get accelerated process of aging. We get a compromised skin barrier. So increased transepidermal water loss, increased inflammation. And so that, of course, leads to dry, dehydrated, itchy skin that's more likely to become infected. Mm -hmm. and then we get delayed wound healing because obviously all of our resources are geared for action. And that has implications in terms of breakouts. So breakouts take longer to recover. But also anytime someone goes for any facial treatment, the skin needs to heal. And so that process is then slowed. And then finally, we get flare-ups of problem skin. So with the impaired barrier, with the inflammation, um, abnormal microbiome, any problem skin is likely to flare. So stress leads to accelerated aging, a compromised skin barrier, delayed wound healing, and flare-ups of problem skin. So we pretty much cover the whole range of things yeah. people will see. So a lot of issues, a lot of issues to be looking out for. And so I know as part of your talk, you're going to be talking about um, how supplements and nutrition can help the skin as well as obviously the approach. So what kind of nutrients and supplements should therapists be looking at to, to recommend to clients with, with stress skin? Absolutely. I mean, as always, we want that holistic synergistic approach, which is why we're talking about supplements, because we often think about, oh, well, the treatments or, yeah. but really we need to look at lifestyle. We need to look at nutrition um, and that's our, our nutrients provided by supplements and by topicals. And we need to look at our treatments. And the more of these we address, and what we'll see is the more nutrients we provide, the more effective our results can be. So really, there are numerous key nutrients that will support our skin when we're stressed. I've selected five that I think are, are really key. So these are vitamin A, 
vitamin C, antioxidants as a, as a group, omega-3 fatty acids, and our good bacterial probiotics. And as always, synergy is essential because the more of these we take, the more pathways we can address, the more completely we can help to improve our skin. So I'm not going to give a whole overview now. We'll save that for the talk. But just briefly, if we look at why vitamin A, vitamin A pretty much counteracts all of the changes that we're going to see in stressed skin. It supports all of the cells involved in that aging process that I mentioned. It helps to maintain the skin barrier. It improves wound healing and it helps to decrease problem skin. So vitamin A is absolutely core. And then we've got our group of antioxidants. And the oxidative stress theory of aging is one of the key theories where we're saying that the more oxidative stress there is, the more likely skin is to age. And it, oxidative stress leads to skin damage. So what our antioxidants do is they just support the skin in dealing with these changes that we see when we're, we're stressed. So that links into vitamin C. Vitamin C is an antioxidant but it has numerous other functions. It's also going to support all the cells in the skin. It decreases inflammation, boosts the immune system, and strengthens those capillaries. So again, key ingredient, omegas, one of my all-time favorites. I think everybody must be on an omega forever, <laughs> a good quality <laughs> omega. When we're stressed, we get inflammation. Inflammation both leads to flare-ups of problem skin, but also inflammaging. And the more research we're seeing, the more we're seeing how inflammation is one of the key factors contributing to aging, yeah. leading to that term inflammaging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and stress also, as we said, compares, impairs the compromises, the skin barrier. So omegas help to support all of those. And then last but not least, our good bacteria, so our probiotics. And when we're, when we're stressed, our microbiome, both our gut microbiome and our skin microbiome is significantly affected. And this then impacts the skin surface um, or the health of the skin surface, but also skin immunity um, and leads to inflammation. So using a good probiotic to then support the bacteria is really important. So as always, we want that synergy. We want the synergy of topical and oral and we want the synergy of ingredients so that we can address as many factors as, as possible. So as we're choosing supplements, we want supplements that are gonna provide good quality ingredients and a range of ingredients. So if we look, for example, at the Advanced Nutrition Program, we develop specific products to support stressed skin. But again, there's this range of supplements and it's important to then tailor for individual, individual needs. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's so important, isn't it, to just have a 360 approach. I think there's, as you say, it's not just one nutrient, it's not just one product, it's, yeah. it's everything in, in uh, layered together. Absolutely. And I think, as we've mentioned, you, you're going to be speaking on how stress impacts the skin, and, and you're also going to be sharing some tools to kind of help therapists to help their clients um, to achieve optimal skin care. So can you give any examples of that? And what can people glean if they come to your talk? Are there any sort of practical examples of the advice you're going to be giving? Well, I think we will, what we will is look at the foundation of what happens in the skin when we're stressed. And I think really what I'm looking to do is provide information, cut through that there is so much information out there and so mm -hmm. much misinformation out there. And our consumers are so much more educated, so much more discerning um, and more focused on oral skin care. So what I'd like to do is really cut through the fads, give the facts, not the fiction, so that the skin, skin care professionals have the knowledge and tools that they need. So they'll know what to look for. Well, firstly, they'll have an understanding because I, I always, and maybe it's just me, but I always feel that understanding something helps us to manage it better and sell products better. Yeah. <laughs> but so I, I'd like to give the understanding of what stress is doing in skin, give the health skin care professionals the knowledge of what to look for. So what's, what are the clues that this person is stressed, but then also give that knowledge and foundation in which are the right ingredients to choose? What, what can I give my clients to support their skin? Because of course we want the best results for our clients. So I will give them the facts and the science about what should they choose. 
And then how should they use it? Because sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming. Oh, I know I need to give this, this, and this. What am I going to choose? How am I going to do it? How do I incorporate it? So I will give them that plan so that then they can feel confident in when to prescribe or, or when to recommend and what to recommend. Excellent. That sounds very, yeah, sounds very logical. So giving people the tools that they need to, to create their own bespoke programs for, for their clients. Absolutely, absolutely. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Gaby. That's been really interesting. Um, obviously, if anyone is interested in coming to Dr. Gaby Prinsley's talk at Professional Beauty, you can book now online if you go to professionalbeauty.co.uk forward slash London. All the details are there. Um, and Dr. Gaby is going to be speaking at 1pm on Sunday, the 3rd of April on Asking and Advanced Treatment Stage. So we we'll look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much. It's been great talking. Yeah, you too. And thanks everyone for joining us. And we'll see you soon. Have a lovely day. Cheers. Bye. Bye.